okay this is a continuous video for the blazer front that i uh, i caught i don't know if you have watched this particular one before but if you have not watched it i want to cut the back of it if you have not watched how i cut this you need to search the video on the on the channel list it's there so now i want to cut the back this is the full front now so i'll bring um the leftover material to take cut the back so now to cut the back you just simply place the leftover material and so you place this front on it okay we're going to place this front on it now this is the this is the shoulder level of this front right so back now don't have any problem back doesn't have any problem so this is the shoulder level of the back so this shoulder level now go they align with this back then this is like the front now and so what we do now you we're going to cut this this side exactly the same with the 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 back okay we're going to use the front to cut this side exactly the same okay this is how we go and then this shoulder area same so when you reach this particular point now you remove this one and then just leave it straight like that okay this is how the back of blazer is you don't touch this part you just leave it like that why why because all right i'll show you why so this place on the first video this is where your measurement is okay this is just an overlap for button space and body hole if it's necessary so right now you fold this part out this is this is where as you fold this part now this is where the main measurement is so since the blazers will have joined in the center just let it be like that then from here you cut it straight down okay don't worry about the allowance because there's a journey at the back of the um blazer now and the journey to need allowance right so we we'll cut it straight down as we cut it straight down if you reach this part here okay the blazer need to have an open at the back okay if you want it if you can do the if you know how to do an overlap for suits you know most professional suits joining is not at the um at the real back okay most professional suit journey the overlap journey is here the other one is facing the other side and the other side is facing the other side okay so now since this is just a simple blazer um jacket for a lady then we're going to cut the down the down is going to be straight okay so now that the down is, is straight we're going to cut this side it has an overlap opening at the back a small overlap opening at the back so that you give it even more freedom and there's going to be a dart the same dart that you have in front is the same dart that you have at the back the two back all right so this is the back of the blazer okay and by the time you join this place from here coming down to this place just like you you do it at the back of street skirt they're going to be an overlap at the back of the suit like the at the back of the blazer like this so so the 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 only thing that's going to put shape on this blazer the shape is not coming from here no it's not coming from here at all that's why i don't really mind defining the shape from this cutting here that you see okay the shape is not really coming from here the shape is actually going to come from how you you hold the dart from the middle and free it up here and free it down here that's where the shape is coming out from and this side will make it look okay when it's open so i told you guys last time that on the first video the front part that the blazers professional blazers that are being made by um professional fashion um brand like for example you see a blazer suit a female office suit bought from d and g the kevin cleanse um gucci or versace when you see those suits they don't have joining 
the journey is not on the side here no it's not straight strictly on the side there is no journey the side is together the whole journey is from here okay so now that means the suit is split into three places this is the first part then the center here is the second part and the back here is the, the last part that's how they do it and some suit don't even have this whole journey some suit they just cut it together as a whole like this the whole journey is at the back okay the whole journey will be at the back so which means there are most of those suits you see when men wear for the wedding it only has one opening at the back and the thing that defines the shape for those suits when you meet people that so professional suits the thing that defines the shape is actually the dart that they hold on the that they held on the uh suit that really define the shape it's not really how the, the the reason why you really see that most men wear suit and the suit is very very okay and it fit them perfectly it's not because of the the, the curve this place like this no you only do this on 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 normal dresses and mostly women dress you only curve it like this when you want to sew professional suits all these are not necessary you don't divide all this place only the that define the shape okay but what the heck let's just continue doing this simple ones at least if we know how to do simple thing from there we can advance to doing the hard ones and before you know it we're even better than professional who are they so now uh this the illustration of this suit before i posted this on the internet um i just quickly log on to my laptop and i created the illustration with my um computer so i posted it on on, on my facebook page kf word on facebook so if you if you think that you want to really see the professional illustration you can check there at least we're trying you can check there if you see the the, the illustration you can download the pictures on your phone or if you can download it on your phone you can always come back to the page and and see the illustration yourself or any other kind of illustration you think that you need if they are there you might make use of them see them use them um you can comment on them if you are confused about anything sometimes i come across people's comment and i just you know reply the uh they are, i just answer to their answer to their question but some people comment there for many weeks and i cannot see it because you know there are like thousands of people commenting uh, all the time and and i cannot see everyone but you might be lucky you ask question when you're confused i come over and we can explain to each other and share knowledge and also if the vid this video is useful to you i want you to share it please i want you to subscribe if you're not subscribed to this channel and also one more thing these blazers that i cut now a lot of women know how to cut this it's not the problem a lot of women know how to sew it and even lining it professionally it's not the problem but the problem that most women are having this is the call that i keep receiving when i just posted the illustration okay i posted it yesterday when she said she wants to send this material to me i posted it so uh the problem that most women have is not cutting it or sewing it okay that's why i don't focus on wanting to cut or showing how to sew the problem that most women have is how to put pocket on this thing if you see most women sew things like this, they don't have pockets on it and they would love to, okay? So these are the things that I'll be, I'll, I want to put on video professionally, okay? Something like this, um, okay? The basics on how to do things, I show how to put pocket on these um, blazers now, okay? If I, if, I, if I want to put pocket on these blazers now, if we're going to put it that from here okay let's say for example the woman breast length now the woman's breast length is from here now the shoulder to this place okay you need to give it like um two inches or one and a half inches then you start your dart from under the breast you don't make the you don't let a, a, a dart of a dress climb a woman's breast no it's under it because it's not breast cup that is why we use a flat dart as an alternative to give it a shape so you need to leave this little puff here for the woman breast to fit in whether she's busty or not just give her that little space so from here as it's coming down don't let the dart go down straight if the dart of a suit have to go down straight that means the suit is divided 
Okay, maybe at the end of it, if I'm the one sewing this one, at the end of it, I might end up dividing this whole place. But since she's the one, I'm going to teach her how she's going to do it. If she wants to do it, she can do it. If she don't want to do it, she can just put that. So if the dad stop here, straight down to this place, and you want to put pocket now, this is where the inner pocket is going to be. Okay, most women don't know how to put this inner pocket. And if I want to teach anything concerning these blazers i won't be teaching how to join it i'll be teaching you how to put this pocket so now that we have finished cutting this now it's left with one more thing to do okay and this one more thing that we're going to do right now is that this blazer suit that this blazer jacket that we just cut all right this blazer jacket that we just cut has to have its own I have to bring back the material now and this front now from here have to have their own its own um lining you don't use the normal lining you use to turn the main who the whole dress to turn it okay from this particular point now you have to cut another lining for it okay and the lining also extend straight up to the collar okay this is it all right this is the one thing left now and when you're done with this this is what we're doing okay this is it Okay, so that by the time you finish turning it, if you bring this one back, the lining will not be showing. Instead of the lining, the main material will still be showing. So this particular part now is going to be completed with the lining. You're going to use the lining to complete it. So, and we're done with that. And we we'll bring the back now. Place it here. And I... You place the back now this is it by the time you were sewing if you sew the shoulder you reach this place you can see i notch this place now this is how you sew it alongside with it so now the blazer is like this when you want to sew you sew it alongside with the back and this is why it's called blazers because the collar is cut together you can see it yourself okay this place is not even supposed to be up to two inches, but you know, to be on the safer side, that's why we make it six inches then. This is it. This is how blazer is supposed to be. I don't know if this video can help you, but you know, I do what I have to do. And thank you very much for watching this lesson to the end.